Hello, my friends. My name is Dadcraft73, and welcome back to another episode from our One Block Sky Block Let's Play series. Oh, man. I hope you're having a good day. I hope you're taking care of yourself and you're doing all right. That is for sure and for certain. Today is a very big day in the world of our One Block Sky Block series. We're going to fix this right here behind us. We have been sitting around here nonstop, not doing any work with this thing. We've been running back and forth, jumping over it dodging mobs on top of it every day all day and we haven't ever built it so today we are going to solve that issue and it's about to be amazing that's for sure we have tons of iron now let's go over and get some really quick we shall run right over here i hope i have enough dirt i think that's enough yeah man we're about to have so many melons and pumpkins it's not even gonna be funny <laughs> get me in there we're gonna have a villager trading so oh, oh let me show you Listen, have you, have you heard the news that I have been carting all around and filling out all the dirt in our entire environment here? You can see our, uh, our old dirt grinding area has been filled in with dirt. Let me show you. It looks awesome. And you'll see why it's probably big enough, I think. Look, look, check it out. It's all done. All of it's done. And it's got grass growing. It'll be finished by the time we're done with this episode. We might need a couple more torches like right there maybe we should do we have any yeah we have some we'll, we'll put them down there in just a second so this is all done and this is how big our area is going to be we've got the iron farm over there covered up we've got that we have to deal with i've got a plan for that too we'll talk about that soon ish a couple episodes but we've got this like big row back here and i think what we're going to do is we're going to get some fences we're going to fence it in a little bit and then we're going to make it like a, like this whole corner is going to be like a free form village. It's going to be fenced in so the village can't the villagers can't like run all around over there. But I just was pointing in uh in real life. <laughs> you can't tell. I was just like moving my finger over there. Anyway, that's the plan. But first we want to get a good source of melons and pumpkins so we can start trading with villagers. Then we want all the different types. We want the kind that can give us books, the kind that can give us armor and tools and clerics and all the different different villagers because we need to get super geared up so we can go fight uh, the dragon. That's what we want to do, I think. Can I sleep? I can. Okay, done. Sleep through the night. Okay, so that's the plan. Uh, we've got to build a little bit of stuff right here. We need to build some hoppers. We don't have any wood currently. I also have to deal with this like weird storage area that we have. Are we going to need more? Yeah, cobblestone is like a constant issue for us. Okay, let's see. Do we have any wood? Yes. How about some of that? That'll work. We need to make some hoppers and a couple chests, I think. But maybe just hoppers. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what we need. Let's go... Like that many, sure. Then we'll go like this. I don't even know if this is going to be enough hoppers, but it doesn't matter. We can make as many as we need. That's for sure. There's eight more. Let's see how many we end up needing. We don't really have any gold, but I don't think we need any. I think we just need to use what we've got here. Yeah, we might need a couple more hoppers. That's okay, though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then an extra one here. Okay, so we need uh, two more hoppers. We'll make those in just a second. Now, the only issue that we're going to have with our melon and pumpkin farm, and it's a pretty decent issue, I think, and that is we're short on quartz. So normally in a melon and pumpkin farm, we make a bunch of observers, and an observer goes, an observer goes over top of every plant. And then when that plant grows and connects to a stem, to a like a pumpkin or whatever, it changes state and the observer can see that and then we're good to go. The problem is, is we don't have enough quartz to actually do that because we're going to have lots of, uh, lots of dirt areas here. So I think what we're going to do is we may just observe a couple. Like we, if this is, this thing's going to be one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. So seven. So we can make like, I don't know, four or five observers. I mean, the other thing, I don't know. Can we go to the nether? Is the nether a thing in this pack? I mean, should we try to see if we could go to the nether? And if we can go to the nether, maybe we can um, find more quartz? I mean, I honestly don't know. I mean, you would think someone who has been playing this mod pack, or this, this it's not even a mod pack, this, this world, I guess, would know if we could go to the nether or not. Should we try to go to the nether? 
I think maybe we should. Okay, let's let's work on that, okay? So to get to the nether, we have a little bit of obsidian that we got accidentally. Let's see. So we have four. We have four obsidian. We need 14. 14 obsidian. So that means we just need... Okay, this is pretty simple. Uh, we need some flint. Okay, we got flint. Yes, we have flint and steel. And then we've got cobblestone somewhere. We have some at least. We don't have tons of cobblestone, but we have some. <laughs> I mean, we have some in our inventory. So here's what we do. We go... We make like... One, two, three. Let's make three of these. One, two, three. Okay. Okay, and then we could go like that. And then we go like that. And then we surround this by cobblestone like so. And we get these. Okay. That's 10. We have to make one more. One more round of that stuff. So there we go. There's 14. Okay, so then we just go like this and like this, and we get a bucket of lava. Okay. So there's a couple ways we could handle this whole lava situation. I think what we're going to do, this is our only water source. We have that water source. Do we have another empty bucket? No. Hmm. Oh, yes, we do. Okay. Let's go make a little tiny, just like over here. It doesn't have to be anything major. Let's get some of these out. We'll make a little tiny, like, lava farm, right? So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. That goes there. This goes here. And this goes here. And then if we just go like this, right, that turns into lava, or it turns into obsidian. We could just break that with our diamond pick. So take a minute. So it's going to take a second to get it broke. Oh, I just stopped. <laughs> I just stopped hitting it. Dang it. Okay, hold on. Let's go a little bit longer. And then we should get our source block. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is let me grind out the 14 obsidian that we need. And then we'll come back. We'll build a portal. We'll try to light it and see if we could go in it. If we can't, we'll just tear it down and get mad and throw all the obsidian over the side of the edge of our platform. How does that sound? Okay, let me do this. I'll see you in just a second. All right, it didn't take that long to get 14 pieces of obsidian. Now, I know some of you expert Minecrafters in the uh, in the video, watching the video, would say, Dadcraft, you don't need 14 pieces of obsidian to go to the nether. You only need 10. You made too much. Hello, sir. How are you? You are supposed to be... You are not supposed to be in here. You're supposed to be in the iron farm. How did you even spawn in here? I wish I knew how he got... How did you get in here, sir? I don't think you can spawn up there. That's not a spawnable... Those aren't spawnable blocks? I don't think... Okay, it doesn't really matter. I mean, he's going to be... He can be, like, protecting us or whatever. Um, I decided to build it in here. We're not really using this area for anything else. And this will be a good, a good little place to have our nether portal. Hello, sir. But anyway, somebody might be saying... Sorry, I got distracted. <laughs> somebody might be saying, Hey... You only need 10 uh, blocks of obsidian to go to the nether. I mean, th while that might be true, I am uh, like an old school Minecraft player. And some of you guys might know this guy named Etho. One time, Etho threatened to uh, take anybody out that didn't have uh, uh, full corners in their uh, portal. So ever since he did that, I have always made portals uh, complete, just like that. Okay, there we go. There's a complete nether portal. Can we light it? Okay, we can. All right, let's eat something. I didn't think it was going to work. Maybe it still won't work. We're gonna, let's go find out together. Okay, something's happening. I'm going somewhere. Oh. <laughs> oh. I see. We are... We are in the nether, and it is nothing but a void world also. Okay, well, we got scammed so hard right there. I mean, I'm just kind of scared to be here. Why would you even want to be here for any reason? Okay. I wonder if there's structures. Are there structures? We can't see any. Um, how do I... Oh, it's bright. Okay. I thought I could maybe make it brighter. Okay. Well, there we go. There's the nether. Well, that was a waste of 14 obsidian. I mean, we actually... I, I'm not going to throw anything over... Oh my goodness, I just flung my pickaxe and it went back through the nether. One second, let me, let me go. 
Okay, hello, please, please. Where's my pickaxe? It's gone forever. Okay, yeah, that was excellent. Now I might destroy everything. Okay. All right, I mean, I think we're going to leave this here. I don't think that guy can go in there. Maybe he can. Do we care if he goes in there? Yeah, we probably do care. Here, let's just um, use this temporarily. Okay. Wish it would happen to my pickaxe. We'll just leave that in there in case he decides he wants to cart in the nether. It's a problem for him. Okay, we're going to get rid of this guy. We need to get our iron flowing again. So the, the problem is I don't know how to get more quartz. I mean, I guess we could spend, like, let's, let's spend the next, I'll, I mean, I'm going to spend it. I'm going to spend the next, like, 15 minutes. I'm going to sleep through this night. And do I have a pickaxe? Let's make a pickaxe really quick. I'm going to spend the next, like, 20 minutes just grinding away at the one block. Okay? Let's get some diamonds over here. We're going to get some more, I think. One, two, three. Uh, we need a pickaxe. And that's probably it. Yeah, okay. Let's make a pickaxe, another diamond pickaxe. And then we'll get this down here. We'll get this shovel, like so. Okay, so I'm going to stand here. I'm going to sleep through the night, and I'm going to um, mine the one block for, like, the next, until it's nighttime again. So 10 minutes. And then, hopefully, we'll see how much more quartz we get. I mean, if we get enough quartz in 10 minutes, I mean, we, we literally ground out all the dirt for this entire area. I think we could probably figure out how to get some more quartz. I got to figure out how much I need though. Let me just do the 10 minute test and I'll be back with you in just a second. I was just standing over there mining away. We haven't really gotten that far. I did get one more piece of quartz. We're going to do our 10 minute timer. Don't worry. But I heard that this guy spawned and I was thinking maybe I could get um, some cobblestone for free from this guy. And I don't know if we can upgrade him. I don't think I've ever actually upgraded any of these guys. Let's see how much rotten flesh do I have? One, two, three, four stacks. Okay. Let's see what I can do to trade with him. And then we also have tons of iron that we can trade. So if I go like this, does he like increase his trades? That's locked out already. Okay, that's okay. Let's go here and get iron. Sir, excuse me. Okay, are you going to get more trades? No, I don't think he does. Right? He doesn't get more trades. No. Okay. I mean, I was just checking. I mean, we got a bunch of bones that we don't really need now. And we got a little bit of cobblestone, which is kind of handy, I guess. Do we need some slime? I mean, we might as well get slime while he's here. Right? We get a little bit of slime. We're not getting beetroot seeds. We don't need that. I do definitely not need a goat. Okay. All right. All right. I'm going to set my timer. So just to give you an idea, I, I set a timer. It's been three minutes. So I'm going to stop that timer and we're going to start it again. And I'm going to do 10 minutes on the one block and I'll see you in just a second. Okay. I've been mining around. It's been about six minutes or so. Uh, we have one more piece of quartz. I think we're up to 14 now. That's not very much game, man. We need like a lot more than that. We might just have to figure it out. How much does a, um, an observer actually even take observer? That takes one quartz. I mean, so we can make 14. I mean, that's not too bad. We have a little bit more grinding. But I got another villager, and he's got at least one trade that I think I want. So I wanted to bring you guys back so we could just trade with him and see what goodies he has. I think he has an iron trade. We can get some um, nether wart, which I think we should probably take advantage of, I would guess. Hmm. Let's go find out where he went. He's over here somewhere. Man, our area is huge. We have a huge area to build on. We're going to make it awesome up here. Trust me. It's going to look really good, I think. Okay, here we go. This guy. Hello, sir. How are you? You can give me some mycelium, and you can give me some of this. Okay. Oh, bones for dirt? Yeah, I need a bunch of dirt. I'm getting all that. We just got a bunch of bones from the last guy. Let's see. Where are the bones we got from that guy? Okay. We'll get dirt from this. Man, where was that guy earlier when we needed, like, stacks on stacks on stacks? I guess he was nowhere to be seen. Okay, here we go. Uh, we're going to trade this as many times as we can. Okay, that's locked out now. That's okay. We don't need a bucket of tadpoles. We don't need... Maybe we do need a cherry sapling. <laughs> All right. I wish we could get a little bit further 
down the road with this guy. I mean, I could trade a couple more pieces, but he doesn't really unlock anything. It looks like he's going to, but he doesn't. All right, that's okay. We have tons of iron. It wasn't really a waste. Okay, I mean, we're doing pretty good grinding out the uh, old one block. We got some extra dirt there, which is pretty key. I think we just need to spend our last four minutes or so and uh, and get that done. I just can't believe we didn't get more. We get some more diamonds, which is pretty handy. All right, we're back up to that many diamonds. I think I have some diamonds in here too. Yeah, we're doing pretty good diamond-wise. That could go, that can go, that can go. Put that in there, that in there, that in there. Okay. All right, I'm going to go back and finish my however many minutes, and regardless of what we end up with, we're going to start that farm in just a second. Playing Minecraft when you're tired is never a good idea. Playing Skyblock Minecraft when you're tired is the worst idea. So it's been a couple hours since that clip uh, where I decided to just run right off the side of the platform. I mean, that was ridiculous, that's for sure. Thankfully, though, I have replay mod running every time I'm playing in this world. So as long as I have replay mod and anything happens, I can go back and capture it, you know, if like something funny happens or whatever. That's the idea. I wasn't expecting to use it to capture myself literally carting off the side of my platform asleep at the wheel. You know, I don't know. I don't remember. I remember making observers. I remember... Uh, getting some other odds and ends and thinking to myself that I had to go get, I think, iron, maybe? Like, I don't even remember. And then literally the next thing I know, I woke up to the sound of the void going, K -k 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 as it was killing me. <laughs> oh, man. What is my problem? I don't necessarily, I don't have any sleeping problems. I was just tired, man. Tired. Anyway. Thankfully, we're not playing hardcore. But anyway, uh, we have. it's been a couple hours ago, and I've been sitting here grinding. We have died a couple times, but we also got step nine, which is mine the block 5,000 times. So we have mined this block right here 5,000 times. And two hours of grinding has, first of all, given us 32 nether quartz. So we've recovered our nether quartz and got a couple extra. We have 32. We can make half a stack of observers, which will help our melon and pumpkin farm greatly. We also have all of these resources, a couple diamonds in there, a bunch of gold. Uh, we hit a bunch of gold, um, nether gold ore. Uh, we got some raw coppers, etc. cetera. Uh, and then we have this entire box of goodies, uh, including a bunch more diamonds and tons of redstone. And Oh, and while I was mining, I guess so. every so often some traders were showing up, some villager traders, and I was able to get from them uh, some beehives, and they have a bee in there, so we can set up a honey farm, which is kind of cool. I think we're going to totally do that. Um, I also got some cactus from another one. I thought maybe we could do a little bit of a cactus farm, if that's something that we feel like we need to do. I mean, it would be nice to farm everything that we could possibly farm in this one block world. I think now that we have enough space, we can kind of stick these little farms wherever we want to. We also have unlimited iron now. Um, so we have those. Also, another trader showed up, and it was diamonds. I had to trade him, but I've got some eyes of ender. So hopefully, if we ever find a way to get to the portal, I'm not sure how that even is going to work. I don't know if we have to get portal frames. Hey, thanks for heaving down rain on my head. So we got eyes of ender. We also got a cherry sapling, which we should go ahead and plant somewhere. And then we got a skulk sensor from our trades. I got a little bit of sand as well. So, I mean, we've been taking care of business. I'm sorry for the, uh, the loud noise. Let me just plant that right there. Get that going. So uh, we're we're back. We're back, and I think we're actually better off. It just took a couple hours of just literally straight grinding. I went through an entire diamond pick and then this much of another one. Uh, I haven't made any new armor yet because I was literally just standing there, but I let it get dark, and uh, there was a skeleton that killed me while I was not 
really paying attention. I was kind of just like that, like head down like that <laughs> for, for, uh, for a long time, switching back and forth on the ones and twos. You guys know how it works. So now that we have 32 nether courts, we can make 32 observers. We're gonna have to make a ton of pistons, but I think we're going to be in pretty good shape. Uh, the wandering trader that came by a little while ago also had some melon seeds. So we have a couple extra melons. Thank goodness these were not in my inventory when we ran ourselves off the side of the platform. So we've got those. I am going to do a little bit of crafting. We have to make our observers. We have to make our pistons. Uh, and then I think we're going to be in a position that we can uh, get this farm fired up. I do want to test something with you guys, though. Before we go off about our business, do I have any leaves by chance? Maybe if this thing would grow. Do I have... um? Man, can we please sleep the rain away? It's nighttime, right? Yes, okay, good. Better, 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 better. Okay, good. Now the rain should go away. So let me get a little bit of bone meal from somewhere. How about over here? We can just get some bones um, from this guy. Is that the wandering trader making that noise? I, I've already traded with him. He had some ice for sale and I got that. I don't think we need any more cactus. And I don't need any of these things, I, I don't believe. So uh, let's see if we can't get this uh, this cherry tree to grow because I'd like to get... Do we have any iron over here somewhere? Yeah, let me get uh, two iron really quick. Okay. We're going to make a set of shears. And then we're going to try to get this cherry tree to grow because I want a leaf because we're going to test something. There we go. How about... Uh, I have a couple of those. Okay, so I think we can do this. I'm not 100% sure, but we're going to find out together. I think you can waterlog a leaf, and the water won't run out. Does that uh, make sense? So I think we're going to try this. So if we go like this, and then we get rid of this. And if I put water inside there, yeah, so it holds it. That's perfect, right? So the water doesn't run out of a leaf like that. So in our farm, let me grab that back, and we'll take this. In our melon and pumpkin farm, we're going to need a couple water sources so we can hydrate the, the ground. And I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to go and we're just, so this is what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then if we go one, two, three, four, five, like if I break this block right here and I put this leaf in and then we hydrate that leaf, the water won't come out of the bottom, but I'm pretty sure if we hoe the ground now, that'll hydrate. And that way, our minecart can go back and forth underneath, unobstructed, and we should be in good shape. Do I have in my tools right there? Okay. And let me just grab... Let me grab pumpkins. I really need pumpkins to grow. So let's see if we can't get a couple of those while we're going off and doing a bunch of crafting. So now I should be able to come, like, right... I don't know. Let's see. We... we, uh, we do this one, this one, this one. Let me do this one, this one. It's going to be every one, right? So like that. And that should hydrate. Let's just see. Okay, just waiting for that to hydrate. It hasn't reverted back to dirt yet. Hopefully this works. Okay, um, is it working? Oh, uh, yes, yes, ha, 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 perfect. So we're gonna plant this there and there, and then we'll hit them with a little bit of bone meal. That's full size, and we'll do the same thing there. So those are full size now. That way, we'll be able to get some pumpkins ahead of our actual farm. Okay, yeah, see, that works like a dream. Then we don't have to worry about the, uh, the minecart getting tore up. And it looks kinda cool. Look at that awesome cherry tree over there. Okay, so I'm going to go off. Oh, hello, uh, thing. I'm going to go off and do a whole bunch of crafting. Let me take care of that business, and I will see you in just a second. I expanded the farm as far as I could with my 32 observers, and this is all the bigger that we can make this thing. I mean, we still have a good bit there. I just don't know if I have it in me to grind out another couple hours to get the quartz. I wish there was an easier way. Man, I feel like we got scammed so hard on quartz. Maybe that's just part of the deal. I guess if we really want it, we'll just grind it out. But I wanted to get the observers in first. Here's what I did. I had some stuff uh, uh, tilled up there, and I had some plants planted. We have a little bit of pumpkin seeds going on. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig all of this up 
and we're going to put the dirt back in and we'll worry about getting it hydrated in a second. But we've got to get our pistons in. I'm sure you guys have built farms like this before, but if you haven't, so I, we'll, we'll definitely explain the mechanics. It's, it's a sweet, sweet farm and it works like a dream. And soon <laughs> we are going to be raking it in. We're going to have so many. I mean, this is probably going to be enough. There's not a villager that we can trade with to get quartz, like quartz, quartz, quartz. I don't think so. I think we can trade with a villager to get like quartz ore, or sorry, quartz blocks. But I don't think we can actually trade one. One, if there is, let me know in the comment section, and that's what we'll do. But let me just take these out. This guy needs to disappear. He's uh, is the same guy. That, oh, he's different. Do I care about any of this stuff? Gunpowder, no. Yellow dye, no. Beetroot seeds, no. Nautilus shells. I mean, I don't really need. I don't think I need that stuff. No, I think I'm good. That is a different wandering trader, though. You know where these guys keep coming from. <laughs> they just keep showing up. All right, so now that we've got all of this dirt out of here, what we're going to do is I made 38 pistons. I don't know if this is going to be enough. We'll see. We're going to get underneath here, and we're going to just put these guys like so. Yeah, just like that. i got to do this very carefully because if I mess one up, you guys will be like, hey, did you know there's a piston wrong in your farm? I would never do that on purpose, ever. Okay, so we go like this. And so what happens, how this farm works, is underneath the observer is where the plant is going to be. And when it connects, when it changes uh, shape, right, because you have the plant that grows up, and then all of a sudden it connects to, like, a melon or whatever, it'll send, the observer will see that, and it'll send out a signal. And then all the pistons will go, Ch -ch -ch, and it'll bust all the melons that are up there. I mean, we could just run pistons out through the rest of the farm, and every time we harvest this side, we harvest the other side, like, automatically without worrying about observer. And, I mean, that might work. We just have lower rates, but at least we'd be getting some. I think that's what we'll probably end up doing. We'll just run the farm out all the way, and then as, instead of having observers, we'll just have uh, redstone that runs out through there and just fires all these pistons on this side every time one of these sees uh, a, uh, a stem change. And I think it'll work out okay. I mean, we'll get some some resources from the other side, much more than if we didn't, didn't do it that way. So let me just fill out... That is going to be a light. That does not need to be a piston. Like so. Okay. And then here. 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 Oops. Here. There. And there. Okay. So now that part of the farm is complete. Now all we have to do is we literally just have to come down. Hello, sir? Listen, um, I, I, you guys got to go. That guy's running. Listen, I can't have you running around my base causing trouble. So now all we have to do is fill out the farmland underneath these, like so. And, whoops, not there. And then till and plant, and then we're essentially going to be in pretty good shape. we got to do some redstone on the top. I'll bring you back whenever we're ready to do that. But that's how this farm is going to work. I think what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to craft some more pist pistons. And we're going to run additional pistons... Like out here, like this. I mean, I guess these will work regardless because there's an observer attached to them. Like those are going to work. But we won't have observers for there. But we'll figure out how to make redstone uh, work. So it just, when it fires, we just run all these pistons that are out here. And we'll put like solid blocks in there. Maybe some lights or something like that. Does that sound like a plan? I think it does. I'm going to get back to work doing what I need to do. And I'll see you in just a second. Okay, I think we've got something that's going to work. We've got all of our pistons in. we got some lights in the farm as well. We're going to wrap this whole thing in glass. I have 64. I don't know if that's going to be enough. We might have to cook a little bit more sand. We don't have a ton. But here's my plan on how to fire these pistons. I think this is going to work. I mean, we're going to be able to find out really quickly. So when this observer, like one of these observers, sees like this one, uh, or I guess it's maybe, yeah, any of these three, sees a change. It should power this block, which will hopefully send a redstone signal down this line. Now, it's not going to fire all the pistons, but it's going to fire a good many of them. We're going to be able to test it really quickly. So if I go over here, and let's just say we're going to... Oh, my hoe's about ready to die. Do I have a... Okay, let's go make a hoe really quick. Here, get rid of this thing. Here, pew. See you later. <laughs> all right, let's uh, make a... Uh, let's make a diamond one. Why not? There we go. 
Okay. I brought this bucket of water. We're going to hydrate this leaf block over here. Might as well. Boom. There we go. Okay. So if I, if I, so if we go down here, right? So this should, we should start seeing things happen if this is set up right. When we change the state of this, oh, maybe it's too low. Okay. Uh, let's see. So if I plant, let's use, we want to have more we want to have more melons than pumpkins because each pumpkin we get like a whole pumpkin, but each melon. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's working. That's working. That's working. Now this one should. Yeah. Fired all. That's exactly what we want. So it's not the greatest setup, but this is going to work just how we want it to. Okay. So now we'll do, that was a row of, what was this a row of, let me bone meal some of those so we can see. Kind of hard to uh, here. Um, here, go like this a second. Okay, so now. Okay, so this is a what? That's a melon. Okay, that's good. All right, so this is our row of melons, and then what we'll do is we'll go here. Um, there. Here, here, there. Can I reach it there? It's hard to see. That's okay. Let's just stop messing around here and go like that. Okay, so this is going to be like that and like that. And then we're going to be back over here like so. Yep. Okay. Get in there, there, and there. Okay. And then this row here is going to be pumpkins. And then we're going to have another row back over here. We're going to start melons. Like that. And then we're going to make a whole bunch of bone meal. And we're going to try to bone meal all those. Okay, so we get those growing up. That is going to actually start the process. Now, before we go much further along the way, so we know that all this is going to work out here. We need to put dirt all the way out to this edge like so, and then all the way back here like that. We need to just fill in the middle as well. I don't think I have any more dirt. Yep, I have to go get some more dirt. Okay, so I'm going to work on getting... I don't want to... Uh, this is kind of just like grindy stuff. We need to get all this working. But before we do that, we do need to get our minecart running because we're going to start harvesting pretty soon and then we'll be able to fill out the rest of the farm. So let's put... Let's get this. And I have iron. Okay, let's make ourselves a minecart. And then we're going to have a hopper, like so. Hopper minecart. And then we're going to put... Do you have a thing? Okay, let's get a couple. We need a couple levers. We need two. Okay. So I have a lever here. This also will serve as a shutoff. So we can turn this on like that. And then that can go. And then we have to just hurry around here. <laughs> hurry up around here and put a lever on this guy and power that. Okay, so that will now cause our minecart to bounce back and forth. Should be about to do it here. Boom, okay. And anything that is picked up, some dirt along the way or anything else, yep, random odds and ends, we're going to show up in these things. So now, as soon as we start harvesting, we're going to actually start seeing drops show up. Meanwhile, we can go in here and use this little bit of dirt we have to do that and then we just need to go get more dirt fill out that and then i'm going to just get the farm operational we do have to wrap a row around the outside of this thing just so we don't have melons and pumpkins like squirting out the sides we want them to stay in the farm so we're going to do that we got to cover up this gap i'll be working on all of those things let me bring you back whenever this thing is operational and i'll see you in just a second i find it really difficult sometimes to decorate 
when you're limited by blocks. You know, if you're playing in like a regular world, you'd just be like, oh, let me go get more andesite or diorite or let me get mud or whatever it is. But when you're playing in uh, the uh, like one block world, you're kind of limited to what you've got. We've got lots of spruce. We started to get a little bit of um, cherry, which we added some trees around our little melon and pumpkin farm. We probably could do a little bit more, maybe take out some of that spruce up there and use a little bit of cherry. But I think it looks really good. And most importantly, our setup is working awesome. Look, this is all that we've got so far. We've got this over there. And if we go up here just a little bit, every once in a while, this whole section, this whole section here will harvest. So we just have to wait to see if it happens. But when it does, man, it's like, brum, brum, <laughs> and we rake it in over there. It's just a little bit strange because, yeah, see all that right there? I don't know. Are we missing a, a spot right there maybe? I don't know. We might be missing a couple, uh, a couple pistons right there. We may have to look and see what's going on. But this thing's working pretty good. We could go inside and uh, do a little bit of investigative work if we need to. But I think for now, we're going to call it a done deal. It's working awesome. We just need to figure out what's happening there. Yeah, we'll figure that out off camera. But I'm pretty happy with our little melon and pumpkin farm. And finally, that little eyesore that was right there has been transformed into something that looks pretty good, I think. I think we're going to need to do even more work around here. Now that we've got essentially a truckload of space, it's going to work out really good. We're going to call it right there. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it so much. Until next time, please remember to be cool. Don't be a fool. And from my one block sky block Let's Play series where don't fall asleep and run off the edge. <laughs> I guess we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody. Man, I'm tired. I'm a working man. You know, I'm like out here taking care of business every day. Falling asleep at the wheel. I need to put a border. <laughs>